Breaking space news! New study shows dark energy doesn't exist. Except, probably not. But this isn't really bad reporting or even bad science. In fact, it's exactly what should happen in good scientific practice. Confused? Stick around. So there's a physics professor in New Zealand named David Wiltshire who, back in 2007, published a paper making the claim that the discovery of dark energy in 1998 that won the Nobel Prize in 2011 was in fact not a discovery at all. According to Wiltshire, that conclusion only makes sense if you make an, in his view, very faulty assumption, that you can average over the lumpiness of space without spoiling the calculations. So he proposed an alternative view of the universe that takes the lumpiness into account. So, in this new paper, Wiltshire and collaborators perform an analysis of a particular set of supernova data and claim that their lumpy model without dark energy better matches that data. Now, according to most relativists, the averaging assumption is quite reasonable. There have been many heuristic arguments and some restricted, rigorous proofs justifying it. But that's not the same as a mathematical proof in full generality, so there's still some wiggle room, intuition be damned. And that's where Wiltshire has worked for the past two decades. And lest I be mistaken for saying something I'm not, Wiltshire and collaborators are serious, respectable scientists doing serious, respectable science. Just because they aren't working on the mainstream model doesn't mean it's bad science. I mean, for heaven's sake, their paper was published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, which is a highly regarded journal. But that doesn't make their conclusion correct either. So what can be said about this new paper? Well, they only analyzed one data set of supernovas, and there's a lot of available data that would also need to match their model that they just haven't analyzed. And because most new ideas are wrong, I suspect that their model won't be consistent with other data sets, as is usually the case for proposed paradigm-shifting models. So for everyday people, you can probably safely ignore this result for now. If you want to stay informed on this topic, you should keep an eye out for similar publications coming out in the next decade written by different authors. If these ideas are correct, it'll be picked up by mainstream cosmology slowly but surely, especially as even more data comes out. Science is slow for a reason. In the meantime, remain skeptical of, but interested in, headlines like this.